Russian police step up security and detain a woman protester outside a Moscow courthouse where a verdict is being read against Khodorkovsky and his business partner Platon Lebedev. It was the second day of protests over the trial. Hundreds of demonstrators stage a large demonstration outside court on Monday and up to 20 people were arrested. On Tuesday, police cordoned off the street in front of the building and set up a checkpoint to prevent similar gatherings. Kirill Gilyarov, a member of Russia's opposition Solidarity Movement, accused police of brutal behavior. What happened here yesterday reminded me of the way the Nazis, the Nazi police, have acted. They took people, some of them disabled, with canes and crutches. They were taken, beaten, and dragged along the asphalt. What the riot police did yesterday was real fascism. The former oil tycoon was found guilty of money laundering and theft in a trial that critics say has renewed doubts about the Kremlin's commitment to the rule of law. Before heading to court Tuesday, Khodorkovsky's lawyer said no actual crime under Russian law has been stated so far. We think that this is not just a judicial mistake, but deliberately an unjust act. It's a continuation of criminal reprisal. We will react in a suitable way, judicial, public. We will appeal to our president, of course, and we've already appealed to the world, and the entire world reacts. Both Khodorkovsky and Lebedev are nearing the end of earlier sentences for fraud and tax evasion. They say they are being framed for supporting critics of Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, who was president at the time Khodorkovsky was first arrested in 2003. Khodorkovsky's business empire was carved up and sold to state-controlled companies and he was sentenced to eight years in prison. He faces a possible six-year term this time. The trial has gained international publicity with critics saying Khodorkovsky is being tried for challenging Putin's power and emerging as a potential political rival. U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton issued a statement saying the new charges raise serious questions about the rule of law being overshadowed by political considerations. Pavel Khodorkovsky, the defendant's son, says the court is under pressure by Mr. Putin, who openly stated his position on a TV talk show earlier this month. Putin is the one who makes the decisions on this case. He clearly stated his position on December 16th during the TV talk show Direct Line. It was done as a guide for action for court authorities. Claudia Rosset was in Moscow as the Wall Street Journal bureau chief in 2003. She says, this is how the legal system works in Russia. It is just a theater. But she says the Obama administration should have taken a tougher stand. President Obama could take a break in his vacation on Hawaii, step up to the microphone, and make a very clear statement to the Russian people that the United States is on the side of genuine justice. Rosset says she feels pity for the demonstrators outside the court, what the need now is, she says, for the international community to stand with them. Ravi Khanna, VOA News, Washington. Не будете, я не уйду.